Shopify abandoned cart email automation. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a Shopify email automation for the abandoned cart. It is very easy and simple. Here we are going to use two methods. The first step method is very simple and it needs a little bit of coding. But the second method, it is very, very simple and you can manually edit your cart. Let's go ahead and start with the first method. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Shopify.com. Then you have to set up your shop by adding products and selecting the plan. The second thing is to go to settings, click on settings. And here on settings, we are going to select checkout. When you click on checkout, we are going to drop down a little bit until we see abandoned cart. Here I'm going to continue scrolling, scrolling, and here we have abandoned cart or abandoned checkout emails. Here we have the choice to send abandoned checkout emails automatically. Soon to anyone who abandoned their checkout email subscriber who abandoned their cart or checkout. I'm going to select anyone who abandoned their checkout. Send after. Here we have 1 hour, 6 hours, 10 hours, 24 hours. Here we have to put the correct, uh, correct hour and we'll be good to go. As you can see, here we have the recommended hours is 10. Now we can go ahead and play with 10 or 6. It depends on your behavior or the customer behavior. Here to make this code or to make this uh, abandoned checkout email show up for the customer you are simply going to check out this box. Now let's go ahead to the customized email. When you finish right here you are going to click on customize email. First you have to save the changes and as you can see click on customize email. Here we have some codes. As you can see, email subject, complete your purchase. I am going to change that and make it, for example, you have or got something like that. And this is a call to action maybe. And here we have the email body in the HTML code. As you can see here, we have some codes and we have some text between the codes. You left an item in your card. You have the item items in your cart. This is, and you have some messages. You can you add an item in your shopping cart, and you haven't completed your purchase. You can complete it right now while it's still available. You can customize this message. Also, th there are a lot of messages that the they have been added, and you can customize each one of them. These are some algorithm uh, codes that you can, for example, uh, with conditions. Uh, if there are a condition, it will be uh, set up like this. If it is a one item, it will show up only left an item. It is a multiple item, you left items. As you can see, you can go ahead and follow these step by step and you will be good to go. To preview your changes, all you have to do is to click on preview and it will show you right here the uh, forget or the abandoned cart email you left items in your uh, cart here items with store complete the purchase they will show uh, the customer the items that they have left with the price and everything you can go ahead and send a test email to see it in the email and we have sent you our email address a little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers, addresses are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now that was for the automated uh, email or the setup email uh, of the checkout with the store. Now let's go ahead and uh, create another automation. Here we have to go to Shopify then we are simply going to marketing click on marketing and here we have two options we have automations and campaigns i'm going to click on automation and here we have the choice you can see here the first one is abandoned checkout drive customers back to your store to complete their checkout i'm going to turn on this one click on and see what we will have 
Here, before I turn on this one, as you can read right here, we have abandoned checkout emails by Shopify. Here we have view and edit all workflows by instant flow. You can go ahead and make that. It is up to you. But here, the status of that action or the making uh, of the emails is active. You can go ahead and turn on the abandoned card automation. Click on turn on. And here it will replace your abandoned checkout email. I will click on continue and I will see the changes. It will take a little bit of time, but it is not a big problem. Here, as you can see, abandoned checkout. I'm going simply to click on edit. And here we have to uh, enable to uh, edit it. You have to install Shopify flow. Here we will let the store take us to the Shopify app store and we will simply go to install Shopify flow and it is automatically installed as you can see we have here some actions we have a trigger start when customer abandons a checkout this is the first trigger then you have see then we have a condition check if customer abandoned checkout on online store we have also another condition this is also of a condition slash action so when a customer abandons the checkout this system will check out or check if the customers abandoned checkout on online store and then it will check if the total price is more than zero dollar and also it will take the action to go ahead right here to wait for 10 hours maybe you can go ahead and modify this how long to wait you can go ahead and put for example this is the recommended uh, amount of hours or time to wait before sending that message or email here we have check if customer hasn't placed an order or abandoned another checkout since starting this workflow you can go ahead and add another option for example here otherwise you click on this you are going to add something else you can add a condition or a action here we have the actions that we can add we have some shopify from flow from dandy which is uh, the whatsapp app from email and here we have some other steps i'm going to delete that here it will check out after this step one or more products in checkout are available in stock so it will warns the customer that the product will soon uh, be out of stock and the action here is do this this is the principal action send email or marketing email when you click on that you will see here the uh, preview as you can see now if you want to edit that customer or do you want to edit that custom email you are going simply to click on edit and it will take you to the normally the email editor which will be more uh, sophisticated and more understandable than the coding section that we will, we had before here we have to revert the email to draft first because it, we are going to make some modification it is okay i will click on continue and here we have it now we have two here all customers it will show or it will select the customers that it will send this email to you the subject you left items in a checkout for example i am going to put you forgot you forgot this is more convincing something like that something in your in your cart like that or you can go ahead and let it only you forgot something here we have the preview text you can write a summary of your email to display after the subject line you can go ahead and copy this one here we have that I'm going to put this right away and here we have it you can generate some text in the subject with the magic or the automated generation and here we have it now let's go to the email we have the header 
you can see here we have the logo you can put the store name in place of the logo you can uh, modify something on the header for example the logo size the section alignment background color for example you can put this orange and we have it make it blue or whatever color you want we have here the subheader which is the text here box you can change the style or the font of this text box you can also uh, regulate the font size as you can see uh, you have here the text color you can customize it as much as you want we have also the link color you can go ahead and change the link color here we have a divider you can see it is a style of a stroke you can put it right here uh, here we have that multi multi uh, lines and here we have a uh, thick stroke we have here a text box also here we have the products uh, that is uh, set up right here it will be automatically detecting the product that was forgotten by the customers as you can read here products shown will match the items left at checkout and we have the title variance quantity and button here we have the button as you can see the font size of the button you can go ahead and customize it this is fully customizable now we have also the title you can change the title uh, here are the variants and etc here we have another button which is visit our store to complete the checkout it will take them directly to the uh, website that we have or here for the button it will take them to the uh, directly to the checkout page and here we have a footer in the footer you can include the name the address the phone number for example and the email of the um, the company or uh, your store this is up to you I'm going to remove that remove also the phone number you can also modify whatever we have here let's say that I am going to modify the color of them like that this is the color of the link and etc this is a very simple and very easy to customize you can click on done or you can send also a test click on done and you will be good to go that is for the automation that we can create it is much easier than the, uh, the first method because you can edit the email as much as you want and add some blocks if they are uh, available and you are also can add some steps to it if um, if you are going to add some actions or conditions and that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one